Hey, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 72nd episode of Coffee with Jody. And in this episode, we're going to tie all of the different profiles that we've been talking about over the last several sessions uh, together. That's uh, how to fascinate wealth and talent dynamics, what motivates uh, people in the workplace, DISC, which is behavioral, and strength finders. So we're going to weave all of those together. I'll re-remind you of uh, what each of them is and, uh, and why we use them all. So I think the most important thing to get here is that why use any of these profiles is because we want people to actually be operating from what is a natural self-expression for them. When people are operating from the natural self-expression, they're more powerful, they're more confident, they're more authentic, and they're more effective. So let's start with how to fascinate. In the how to fascinate profile, what we're looking at is why there are certain aspects of you that attract and magnetize others toward you. Let's start off with fascinate. In fascination, we're looking at seven different fascination advantages that when you know what they are and develop them gives you the competitive advantage because it allows you to stand out. You're already naturally um, operating through two of them. So let's just get clear on what they are. There are seven different ones. Innovation, which is all about creativity. Power, which is all about confidence. Passion, which is about relationships. Prestige, which is all around excellence. Then you have trust, which is about stability, mystique, which is about listening, and alert, which is all about the details. Now you have these um, as natural self-expressions. They're, they're a language uh, in which others read you, and they allow you to stand out. Once you're really developing those, it will give you that competitive advantage and in, uh, in keep you from becoming a commodity where you're invisible. You'll want to identify those advantages and then insanely deliver on what makes you different. Sally Hogshead talks about different is better than better. So what makes you different is one of these and a combination of, of two that sets you apart. Next we're going to talk about wealth and talent dynamics. This is where you identify what has you be in your flow. What game, if you will, are you in? The Eight different areas are creator, which is all about ideas, stars, which is about promoting, supporters, which get up underneath people, deal makers, which are the one-to-one -one actually negotiating a win-win, traders, which know the, the uh, margins on things, accumulators, which are building assets, lords, which look to identify the leaks in productivity and profitability, and mechanics, which put order to things and automate things to make them uh, seamless. You'll have one of those that is your predominant style and then the either sides, what we call the wings that you can um, actually um, lean on, if you will, to help you to develop that flow. Why it matters is because when you're operating in your flow, you're creating what we call a butterfly garden rather than going around with a net trying to catch butterflies. You create a garden that brings butterflies another uh, metaphor for, for opportunities to you. Money comes and goes, but when you are building a butterfly garden, you create the wealth in relationships and expertise and knowledge and in energy that allows more opportunities to come your way. Then from there, we're gonna go straight to DISC, which is all about behavior and communication. In DISC, we have D for doer, directive, dominant, get it done type people. They're impatient. They want respect. We also have I, which is influential and inspiring. These are people who want to be liked, but they're very people oriented, where the D is very task oriented. And then we go to S. S is for stable, supportive people. I call them salt of the earth. And then C, which is compliant, cautious people. These are the ones who actually take time to get things done right. This is a behavioral style, but actually helps you to be able to communicate with others when you understand what their behavior 
and their communication styles are great in managing great in sales great in marriages you know great in understanding our children friends so on this is all about behavior and communication and you can see how when we go to recruit for a particular role we want a behavior style that's going to be a fit for that then we'll shift over to the motivators motivators are what drives you what drives you in in your actions and in your behaviors there are seven different motivators unlike many people think it's all about money no it's not economic is one of the motivators but there's also aesthetic individualistic which is the want to be uh, known as your own person and to be unique there's uh, altruistic which is the drive to be helpful theoretical and there's regulatory which is all about doing things the way they're designed and want to be done when you know what motivates you and drives you, you ch people choose the opportunities in order to be able to excel because they're more of a natural fit for what drives them. And that's important because when your drives and motivations are satisfied, it helps to reduce fatigue. It drives um, more passion and interest in what you're doing and ultimately gives you a competitive advantage because you're energized and inspired by it. I love all of these profiles. I'm particularly fond of the strength finders because this is a shift in the way that human beings um, have been operating for at least the last hundred years that we've had school systems and in our corporations from what people are not doing well to what people actually do do well. The strength finders work is all about focusing on what people are naturally wired to do and the ability to do more of that. There's 34 different themes and they fall into four categories. Execution, which is all about getting stuff done. Influencing, which is about leading. Relationship building, which is obvious about relationship building. And strategic thinking. And once we know what our natural strengths are, you know, they're, they're a theme, they're kind of raw talent but if we work on them, we study about them, we practice them, this is where genius lies. So you can see why all of these different profiles kind of fit together. They assess something different, but they all talk to each other. And ultimately, it's all about people having the ability to work to their potential, to be completely and totally fulfilled and satisfied. And when they are, that creates a competitive advantage on your team. That's really why we go into this. We want to make sure that we're aligning with people's natural talents, that their business model is aligned with their natural talents, that the people around them are in roles that their natural talents are a fit for, and, uh, you know, and that gives you a synergistic competitive advantage that can't be beat. If you got value from this, please like it, share it, Subscribe to the YouTube channel where you can have access to all of the videos that are referencing each of these different profiles and lots of other business uh, ideas, concepts, and tools. And I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to that channel for me. And click on the link below to get a white paper, it's actually an ebook, on all of these different profiles with much more depth. And then you'll understand why this is something you'll want for yourself and also for all of the people on your team. That's it, bye for now.